a call to Grissom Academy. They have biotic amp interfaces I may be able to adapt for Asari use. No, it won't connect. It says the station's communication system is offline. Of course, if these interfaces make our commandos better on the field, I'll hold for as long as you need. There's the folks who answered the distress call. Cerberus Cruiser. At least a dozen fighters on blockade duty. Not too many for us in a straight-up fight. They must want this place bad. Receiving incoming transmission. Let's hear it. SSB Normandy. This is Kaylee Sanders, director of Grissom Academy. We need immediate assistance. Cerberus is attacking the facility. They're after my students. This is Commander Shepard. We're blocked on a direct approach. I know. They've taken control of our docking bays. Any alternatives? There's an auxiliary cargo port I could probably open. All right. We'll come in by shuttle and get your students out of there. Joker, can you give me a diversion? Oh, boy, can I? Sanders, we're clear. It's me. Commander, thank you. Admiral Anderson always said you were the best. And with Cerberus coming for my students, I need the best. How many of you are there? Fewer than 20. Most were sent home when word of the Reaper invasion spread. But a few volunteered to stay. Some are prototyping tech for the Alliance. Others are biotics. They've been training for military operations. Working together as biotic artillery. You said something about Admiral Anderson. Yes, we met... Oh God, it's been... 20 years ago when he was a Spectre candidate. I was there when Saren betrayed him. David saved my life that day. He's a good man. He was on Earth when the Reapers hit. He stayed behind when I got off world. I hadn't heard. We've been cut off from most news. He's alive? Alive and fighting. He's currently leading the resistance movement. Good. If we get out of here, well, just tell him to stay alive. A few months knocking over practice dummies can't prepare your students for war. Agreed, but the Alliance needs every resource it can get. And our students are unique resources. They wanted to help, 
How could we say no with the entire galaxy falling apart? Hang on. I've been trying to get communications working. This is Prover. There are students trapped in Orion Hall. Cerberus has us boxed in. They're closing fast. Damn it. Orion Hall? Back out the door and down the hallway. I can get the door open. I'll bring them back here and we'll make a run for the shuttle. Thank you, Commander. I'll stay put. With luck, I can regain control of some of our systems. Sanders and security. Okay, but my sister Sean is out here somewhere too. She needs help now. Sean, can you hear me? I saved your brother. He's with Kaylee Sanders at security. Can you get to her? Yeah. I just need to rest for a minute. Thank you. Emergency message from the students in Iraq. 
Jack. Shepard. military show up all right amp check frankly those fields were weak Cerberus isn't gonna lie down out of pity like that girl you took to prom grab juice and an energy bar we move in five <clears throat> myself into the Alliance, Jack. Yeah? And how'd that work out for you? Did they listen? Didn't think so. You could have stayed. Instead, you decided to go play soldier. Sounds like you're doing that yourself these days. <laughs> yeah. I guess so. I can't think of anybody who could care about them more. Well, I had some free time while you were off playing hero. Alliance Brass knew I helped you. They offered me this. And apparently the students responded well to my teaching style. The psychotic biotic. I will destroy you! Drink your juice, Rodriguez. You couldn't destroy wet tissue paper. Cortez to extraction team. The Cerberus cruiser is coming back. How long have we got? Two minutes stops, Commander. After that, there's no way we'll get past them. Get out of here and back to the Normandy. We'll find another way off the station. Roger that. Good luck, sir. Shepard to Sanders. The students are safe, but the shuttle's a no-go. Understood. I might know another way off the station, but I need station-wide.
override camera access. Can you disable the Cerberus security override? It's routed through Orion Hall, so it should be nearby. How does camera access get us off this station? We need to reach the Cerberus shuttles. The cruiser won't auto-target friendly ships, which gives us a fighting chance to escape. Get me back the cameras, and I'll find a path to the shuttles that keep Cerberus from boxing you in. You really think we're getting out of here? Of course we are. Don't talk like that. Sorry. I can't believe you and our teacher work together. That's pretty badass. With both of you here. Yeah. Maybe we've got a chance. We'll be ready when you need us, Commander. We'll be ready when you need us, Commander. I think I pulled. I can't believe you and our teacher work together. Just drink your juice. With both of you here. Maybe we've got a chance. You hear Cerberus saying people's names? They must have files on all of us. Let me know when we've got a new way off this station. What's so valuable about these students? Biotically, I mean. Well, what's scarier than a pissed off biotic attacker? A whole bunch of them working together. It's like a biotic artillery strike. Any asshole gets in our way, we rip him to shreds. Doesn't that exhaust them? Yeah, sure. But we've been working on conditioning, improving endurance. Whenever they complain, I tell them about the collector base, holding that damn biotic bubble up against those bug things. Ugh. I kept thinking, damn, let the Solarian handle this. He can talk them to death. How are the students handling the war? How do you think? They're a bunch of teenagers. Until a few months ago, their biggest concern was getting laid. You don't think they're ready for war? I don't think they have a choice. So, all this talk about biotic artillery strikes. It's great in theory. Maybe they'll get it together once they've seen some action. But? <sighs> They'd be better off as support. Put them in the back ranks, helping with barriers and shit. I don't know. Have you told them that? No. They need me to believe in them. I did pick up a few things listening to your damn speeches. I have to say, Jack, you look good. <laughs> Save it for shore leave, big guy. That's not what I meant. Yeah, well, maybe some of your attitude rubbed off on me. I never had a family. And these guys... Anyone screws with my students, I will tear them apart. So... About you and me. <laughs> hey, I get it. You've only got one real love in your life. The Reapers. They're the only thing keeping you awake at night. Which is too bad. Because I'm a much better lay. I'm sorry I left. <laughs> Hell yeah, you should be. Maybe you can apologize some more when this is over. I'm glad we got the chance to talk. Yeah, yeah. Whenever you've got a way out of here, my guys will be ready to move. Sanders, you should have access now. Got it. The fastest way is through the atrium, but Cerberus has sealed the doors. You'll need to disable the magnetic locks. The overrides should be directly above the door. When we get out of here, I'm going to the beach. Which beach? Ilium. Hotel Azure has a resort beach with waves and everything. Nothing but lonely Asari girls as far as you can see. That's assuming the Reapers haven't hit Ilium yet. Keep thinking like that, you'll die on the station. 
You gotta find something to focus on. Maybe I need something other than some hot alien women to focus on. Hey, you don't go for a star, you can, I don't know, it's a big galaxy out there. I don't need something out there. Well, then what do you? Uh, hey, or maybe when this is over, we could get some coffee or something? You sure I wouldn't be interrupting your beach trip? You wear that green dress you wore at Holly's birthday party. You can interrupt anything you want. I think I can make that happen. You really think we're getting out of here? Of course we are. Don't talk like that. Sorry. Got it. You should be able to force the door open now. I'll get to the shuttles ahead of you and get a pair ready to fly. That's pretty badass. Yeah, wonder why she never mentioned it. How's your amp? Hot. I think I pulled a muscle in my brain. Just drink your juice, you'll be fine. Everyone be ready. We'll go in first and draw their fire. We'll shadow you from the second level and hit those fu Those guys from above. A good strategy that protects the students from direct fire. Just time your shots and stay safe. All right, I didn't bust my ass training you so you could die now. Keep low, pick your targets. Students of Grissom Academy, the station is sealed. The Alliance soldiers cannot save you. All they can do is get you killed. Surrender peacefully and you won't be harmed. <sighs> Asshole. Damn it, they're messaging everyone. Students, switch your Omni tools to privacy mode so they can't track you. What if... what if they're not lying? You've already held your own against Cerberus. You've been trained for this by one of the best. Come on, Rodriguez. They're only asking nicely because you scared them in that last fight. So take your balls out of your purse and kick some ass. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Let's go. Ready for action? 
We're in the atrium. That's an impressive barrier, Octavia. Our file says you've been working on shield technology. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance. I'm here to help. I didn't buy it from the last guy, and I've got no reason to buy it now. The square root of 906.01 equals... 30.1. Hello, Commander Shepard. David, you know him? Yes. He rescued me from Cerberus. Sent me here. He made it quiet. You did a great job keeping yourself safe. The biotic students are up there. Stay close. They'll get you out of here. Okay. Ah, uh, thanks. He looks much healthier. I remember you. The Normandy computer. Sorry. No apology is necessary. Has Grissom Academy been all right? Yes. I've been counting. Anything in particular? The number of days you lengthened my life. The security office. I hacked the lock. 
Guns. Lots of guns. Goodbye. Looks like schematics for AMP interfaces. Not as good as what we already have, but still worth a look.
Kaylee, how's it coming? Shuttles are unlocked. Take the controls and get the students aboard. Wait, where the hell's Rodriguez? She needs covering fire. She needs more than that. Joker, we flew out on a Cerberus shuttle. Watch your fire. Right, I've got you on sensors. Should just be a minute. Thank you, Commander. We'd have never gotten off that station if you hadn't come. Forget that. We kicked some ass. Next place we dock, you're all getting inked. My treat. <clears throat> what do you guys want? Ascension Project logo? Glowing fist? Maybe a unicorn for Rodriguez? Screw you, ma'am. I can't believe we got them out alive. I was going to suggest that they stick to support roles. But perhaps they're ready after all. They're definitely ready. But the Alliance needs them in a support role. What? We trained for artillery strikes. We don't need another artillery unit. We need stronger barriers for our frontline squads. This is bullshit! Hey, if that's where they need us, that's where we go. Besides... I'm sure we'll get some shots in. Commander, we've got a visual on you now. Preparing to dock. Hey, Jack, now that you're military, you gonna wear a uniform, or are you just getting the officer's bars tattooed on? Screw you, f Flight Lieutenant. Ma'am, how many tattoos do you have anyway? Hell if I know, Prangley. I was gonna burn off the N7 I got on my ass, but maybe I'll hang on to it for a while. Shepard, damned if you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Good to see you too, sir. Sir? I may have reinstated you, but that doesn't give you permission to go all formal on me. Then I'm glad you managed to keep your ass alive, Anderson. That's more like it. Looks like you didn't waste any time getting to work. I can only imagine what would have happened to those kids if they'd fallen into Cerberus' hands. They're definitely eager to help. These students are some of the best humanity has to offer. And we're throwing them into battle. God damn it, I hate this war. Hackett didn't mention in his report... Kaylee Sanders is safe. She's with the recruits. Thanks, Shepard. When I heard about the attack... Well... I've already lost a lot of friends. She asked me to tell you to stay alive. <laughs> Did she now? Well, thanks, Shepard. That might be the first good news I've heard this week. Anderson out. You see the feed from Palavin? It's brutal. I'm amazed the turrets are holding. The birds don't quit when things get ugly. I'll give them that. I just got word. Everyone from Grissom Academy has arrived safely. We wouldn't have known about them if you hadn't caught the distress signal. Nice work. Thanks, Commander. So Jackson instructor? I guess anyone who messes with biotic kids gets turned into a small stain on the floor and ceiling. Ooh, and that was Cerberus attacking the Academy. Man, that must have been like Christmas for her. Anyway, nice job on getting them out of there. They were throwing out some impressive biotic power. Good. We could use some heavy hitters in the biotics department. It'll be good for them, too. Biotics face a lot of discrimination. Maybe if they save the galaxy, people will get over their issues. I didn't expect you to be sensitive about that. Hey, I'm just tired of them stealing the spotlight from people with actual disabilities. I break ribs if I sneeze too hard. Being able to move crap with your mind is not a handicap. Good to know that Jack has thus far survived the Reaper invasion. I have amusing memories of her attempts to insert additions into my reports to the elusive man. Most of them centered around inappropriate uses of the word cockpit.
One of the worst parts of this war is watching the kids react. If they're lucky, they grow up thinking the galaxy is basically a decent place. Some rough spots here and there, but for the most part, life makes sense. Now they find out it was all a lie. They wake up to see these things in the dark that just want to destroy everyone they ever cared about. If they survive, there'll be a lot of angry orphans out there looking for answers. It was odd to see an entire academy just for biotic children. Don't Asari have biotic schools? Every Asari school includes biotic training programs. It's basic education. Still, those children in the academy were very impressive. I'm sure Jack's proud. Ready for the next mission? Breaking now. A city of four million blasted from orbit. Adelaide, Australia is no more. New footage from Earth reveals the Reaper's plans to attack large industrial centers. Which cities are next? Find out inside the battle space. Cerberus stealthily strikes star system shield. No, glad I read that one out loud. Do we need to talk, Commander? Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy, she is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a spacefaring vessel before Edie even existed. Engineer Donnelly is correct. The Normandy SR2 was completely spaceworthy prior to my installation. See, Edie agrees with me. Edie's mind and the Normandy are a whole entity now. You couldn't just move the processors and the AI core to another ship. Engineer Adams is correct. Processes that contribute to my self-awareness are spread throughout the ship. See? Edie agrees with me. But unlike Edie, our brains couldn't have existed without our bodies. That is a requisite from being organic. You have to look beyond that limited definition of life. Joker pilots the Normandy. He doesn't take over Edie's body when he does that. When Edie controls the ship, she is piloting, just like Joker. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Norm- Just like us. The ship was a spacefaring vessel before Edie even existed. The Normandy is a ship. Edie is a collection of processing hardware contained in that ship. Those are two separate things. Doesn't the existence of the Reapers contradict that? So what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. Any more of this and my head's gonna explode? Commander, I was exploring your ship. Find anything interesting? One of your crew lived in this space. There are traces of anger. That was Jack. Anger was her specialty. Traces of her pain are still present. I'm told she sought revenge against Cerberus when she was here. A goal you helped fulfill. I hope you will do the same for me. At least I have better quarters. During our fight against the Reapers, we had no time for teaching the young anything but war. Only the foolish mourn the loss of innocence. It is inevitable. The galaxy has never rewarded the naive. Commander. Everything okay with the shuttle? Just double checking the inertia dampener coils. It can be twitchy in these UT-47s. But don't worry, this bird's been rock solid. I always see you down here working your ass out. Ever take any downtime? 
I get my sleep, Commander. Flying tired is nearly worse than flying drunk. What about your waking hours? Any R&R? &R? I need to keep myself busy. Otherwise, well, too much time to think. I appreciate your dedication, but I don't want to see you burn out. I know my limits. I wouldn't take a chance with your life. So before this war, you must have done something to relax. Sure. I remember back when the Hawking was based out of Arcturus and I was just a fighter jock. There was this observation deck overlooking the main flight paths. You could watch every ship taxi in and out. When I was alone, I'd turn off the auditory emulators and just watch them drift by in silence. You know, there were views like that on the Citadel. Next time we're there, you should take some shore leave. Clear your head. I don't know. Maybe. Take some time off on the Citadel, Steve. It's a favor to me. I find it very hard to say no to you, Shepard. As it should be. Commander, I feel terrible about leaving you on Grissom Academy like that. I did order you to leave. Yeah, it doesn't make me feel any better. I'm just glad it all worked out. I hope I didn't leave you hanging too long on that last Cerberus raid. I'm just glad we made it out in one piece. It's been a while since I've seen a dogfight like that. Really missed my trident. ACM isn't really the Kodiak's strong suit. Sir. That Primarch's got some real cojones. What we need are more politicians like him, taking names and kicking ass. That Jack is a mean SOB, but kind of hot. If he's like that sort of thing. So, Anderson and Sanders. That's quite a couple. Huh. My dad's last name is Sanders. No relation. Hey. I overheard you talking. Grissom Academy is gone. But I found this one. What is this? Yes, these are tailored to human physiology. But with a few alterations, they should work for the Asari as well. This is exactly what I needed. Thank you. Tell Matriarch Athena that our Huntresses should have the upgrades waiting for them on their next shore leave. No, they were very easy to scale. The humans made some amazing breakthroughs.